looks like Ross is doing just fine. Oh. Look at that guy. Tripod. Oops. All right, so I've been in Valdez for a couple days now and I have not been recording daily videos, mostly just because it's been raining. So it, it's rained pretty much every minute of every hour I've been here in the last few days. Uh, I believe that this was Saturday and this was Sunday and today is Monday as you can well, you don't know that, but today is Monday, but as you can tell behind me, still very overcast and rainy. I actually learned that this area is considered almost like a rainforest, to my knowledge, so it just rains here a lot, meaning that day that I got here, I think was just a special day. And I got really lucky, and it's also probably why I thought it was the most beautiful spot that I've ever seen in America. So instead of focusing on photography, even though we might still take some, it's only, let's see, seven o'clock right now, plenty of time to shoot some awesome light, the mood is really great right now, so we might end up taking something, but this video, I really just wanted to thank everyone that has been tuning in, commenting, supporting me in any way possible. I actually went back and watched my very first thank you video. It was a video that I made after my Lightroom calibration video took off, and it was when I got a thousand subscribers. Uh, and it's interesting to go back and watch it. Actually, I wanna watch it together. There's one part, we'll, let's just watch it together. To me, what I want out of this channel is to be able to interact and be human to you guys. And what I mean, hi. I, I know this is just a photography channel, but I am just human. And I don't ever want people to think that I'm anything more than that or anything less than that. I'm not just a scroll of images that you find on Instagram. I'm not just a bunch of videos on YouTube of photography locations. I have feelings and emotions and anxiety and fear and happiness, just like all of you do. And the only difference is that I'm sitting here taking the time to talk to a camera. So as I was watching that, I realized I actually still have that hat on me in the car. And considering I haven't showered in about, I don't know, three days? Maybe not backwards, let's try forwards. <laughs> so I can prove to you that it is the correct hat. Would you look at that? My hair is a little bit shorter. I don't have much going on down here, but I still got the hat. Anyways, jokes aside, um, watching that was a really good reminder of perspective and how I felt at the time and I think the thing that resonated with me the most with what we just watched was how much I still believe exactly what I said, yet this, what we're doing right now, what I'm doing, what I'm sharing on this journey so far in the last couple of weeks of making these daily videos is the first time I've truly felt like I'm representing that version of what I was talking about. And maybe it just took me realizing, just, just do whatever I want. It doesn't matter what's gonna happen because if it doesn't work, that's already what was happening. So just do whatever I want, work my butt off and make these daily videos. And that's what I've been doing. And it's been absolutely amazing. And I have one more thing that I wanna do. I gotta get my phone back out because I took notes. Is I just wanna thank everyone that has donated in the last couple weeks. Specifically, I can't name everybody, but I'm gonna name a few people. Thank you. Uh, I hope I get all these names right. If I don't, sorry. Espen donated $100. Uh, Braden Snow Photography donated $110. Devin donated $120. You guys are amazing. Those are the people that donated over $100 that I wanted to call out. Uh, the next people are Andrew donated $25. Grant donated $25. Mary Catherine donated $50. Essex Photography donated $55. Jeff donated $25, Randall $20, Sean $20, Juanito $50, and Sue Duggett and Bella $20. I tried to limit myself to only the people that donated over $20.
there was a lot more people that have either bought stuff, donated, and stuff like that. It means the world to me, and it is the only way that I think right now that I'm going to be able to keep this going is with those, that kind of support. So, thank you. I, I hope that I hope that you're getting as much out of this as I am, that I'm eternally grateful, and that no matter what happens, no matter what the results of this entire uh, journey is, I will always have these experiences, and I will always have these memories, and I will look back on this video specifically, just like I just did from that video almost two years ago, and remember how I was feeling, and remember just how appreciative I was of all of you. So thank you. It means the world. That's what I wanted to say, and uh, yeah. Let's see if anything happens for, I wouldn't say sunset, because like I said, it's, it's really cloudy. It's really cloudy. So I don't necessarily know if we're gonna get anything, but it's so moody and pretty. Maybe I'm gonna take a shot right here. I think that's what I'm gonna try to do. So uh, I'll show you that once I take it. This little cove is really cool. It's really pretty. So yeah, let's do that. All right, I'm not totally in love with this comp, just because there's a bunch of this, uh, I don't know, junk, gunk, gunk. It's not actually that much trash or anything in there, but it's in the shot this way. Obviously this thing is behind me over here and I've got this cell tower thing right here. So it pretty much locks in the composition from there to about there, because I can't go past that point. So it's like this. And it's a pretty cool shot, uh, especially with all this mood. It's, it's really awesome, but it doesn't quite work without this being some clear water. I'm still gonna put the shot on the screen just because, you know, I took it. I showed you that I took it, we talked about it, but it's not perfect. I'm thinking I kind of want to go out there. So I'm gonna walk out there and see what the shots look like. It is getting really foggy though. It was not this foggy when I pulled up and started filming this stuff, so. Let's walk out there, see if there's anything out there worth taking a shot of, and uh, see where the night takes us. The evening, the day, I don't know. I don't even know what day of the week it is, to be honest with you, so. <laughs> All right, I've come down past the rocks into the marshy area. As far as I can go, that is super slippery. Also, these guys are very loud, so I hope you could hear me. I took a few shots. I'm having a really tough time finding a foreground that I like. I think the background is just absolutely absurd. Pretty much can just shoot any direction, but I need something interesting in the foreground and making sense of all this little marshy reflective area is tough. That's what I'm kind of looking for. Really, the background doesn't matter as much because pretty much anything I'm gonna shoot is gonna look good. Uh, it's really about having an interesting leading line or something in the foreground that takes up that space, which is what I'm trying to do. So that's what I'm looking for. I'll put all the shots on the screen that I end up getting, or if I end up finding one specific that I'll talk about, I'll talk about it. But I think I'm gonna move on, try to find some other stuff uh, while this light is happening and it's not pouring rain. So here are the shots. You make my face go All right, time to hit the road. We'll get there eventually. Are you gonna share or what? You're just gonna eat that whole thing to yourself, huh? I want some of that fish. I'm not the same species here, I'm not a threat. Come on, no? Okay. Well, 
I'm going to try to talk, but the audience here <laughs> uh, might be a little too loud. Uh, just a simple shot. I just like the way the layers of this mountain with these mountains and how this cloud is going through it. And there's a little smokestack happening right here. Just a little bit of atmosphere, just shooting at 100. Probably could get the 70 to 200 out and get a slightly wider shot, but I think 100 was fine. Um, not entirely sure if it's like worthy of anything, but I'll put it on the screen after I'm done talking, if you can even hear me. <laughs> kind of want to see what's uh, going on down here. So, let's go. Oh. I scared everyone away. We got a new friend over there. What is happening over there? Anyone in the comments know what is going on and why all these fish are jumping out of the water? What? is going on That's pretty much gonna be. Oh. Gotta have the hat on. Yeah. <clears throat> All right, that's pretty much gonna be it for me. It is about 10.30. The next thing I'm gonna do is what I do every night, this, for about four hours to edit the photos and video from today, and then do it all again tomorrow. So thank you for watching. Thank you, thank you, thank you for all the support and just, Everything you've been doing, it means the world. This has been amazing. Life is great. And as always, if you like the video, you can like it. If you love the video, consider subscribing. Although most of you at this point probably already are and are already doing plenty of stuff to help support me. So I really, really appreciate it. I will see you again tomorrow. Later.